Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for right around the 15th. So we're just going to go ahead and see what comes up. What do we have for around the 15th, knowing that the timing is fluid? What do we have for around the 15th? The moon. So we got some challenging information here. Some sort of challenge that is coming. Um, but get prepared. Get prepared for, uh, and I know I say get prepared a lot, don't I? But I've come come to awareness about that. Anyhow, all is not as it seems. There are some hidden forces here. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead. This came out sideways, so we are going to leave it sideways. So I believe there's going to be some challenging information that is revealed. Okay? Something has been below the surface. It's been cooking below the surface. It's about to be done. Okay? Uh, the timer is about to go off. Okay, it's time. It's time. It's time for it to be shown. It's time for it to come out. Can't hide the truth anymore. Okay, the truth is coming out. Um, the shadow is about to disappear and it's about to be shown. There's been some sort of deception, right? There has. Something is unclear. They've been. It's been able to be hidden. Uh, but there's going to be something that happens. It's. It's. It can't be hidden anymore. Somebody's been wearing a disguise, but it's the disguise is about to be taken off. Uh, there's some sort of deception, sneaky behavior. Hard time sleeping. Been a really hard time sleeping, unable to sleep, waiting for the waiting for it to happen. It's like it's been waiting, been waiting, 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 waiting. It's time. There's been some sort of illusion, but the illusion is about to be dropped. Okay, reality check. It's time for a reality check. Oh my gosh. Completion. The world card lesson is about to be learned. Somebody is about to learn a lesson. This phase, this chapter, this this project, this... Situation is about to come to a end. I was going to say halt. This is freedom. This is uh, something coming full circle. Uh, this is, could be a change of residence. This is a completion. It's the end. It's leaving the past behind. Uh, looking at the future, moving forward. This is the end of some sort of reality, okay? It's the end of, of, of an old reality, okay? Somebody's about to get a major reality check. Major reality check. It's been cooking below the surface. This this reality check been coming. Somebody needed to learn a lesson before it happened. Okay, this is this is a lesson being learned. They've come as far as they can go. That phase, that chapter, that event, that life, that whatever is over. It's done. It's over. It's done. Like I said, the cooking is done. Timer's about to go off. Boom. Timer's on. Ding, 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 ding. Time's up. Time to, time to uh, take it out. <laughs> time to take it out, whatever that means. Uh, it's time to take this out, whatever that means. Um, freedom. Freedom from an illusion. Okay? That's what that is. Freedom from an illusion. Ooh, King of Coins reverse. Now, the King of Coins reverse is a person. Okay, it's a person, man or female. Okay, male or female. It is a person that is very materialistic. Doesn't matter what sign it is. Okay, this is an energy I'm feeling. This is a person that is very much focused on money. Very much focused on things and materialism and their job and their business and their bank account. And, you know, everything 
but love, okay? The king of coins in reversed is very shallow, very superficial. Uh, definitely not uh, very realistic, okay? In reversed, okay? Now, the, when you get a, a pentacles in reverse, it could be a financial loss. Um, this person is unstable, insecure. Um, makes poor decisions, makes poor financial decisions. Or only focuses on their money. This is somebody that is very egotistical, okay? So we have somebody here that is very, very superfe superficial, shallow, materialistic, egotistical. Will do anything for money. Anything and everything for money. This person, and I don't care what sign it is, is about to receive a wake-up call. And there's going to be a completion of, for this person. Something is coming to an end. They're about to learn a lesson. This person that is very egotistical is about to learn a lesson. They're about to get a reality check. Ooh, nine of wands. So this is this is uh, growing weary. This is somebody that is growing weary. That is very much struggling. They're, they're probably learning their lesson right now. Whoever this person is that is very egotistical, that has, you know, probably lived beyond their financial means, you know, to make it look good. Because all is not as it seems with the moon card. This person makes it look good, but they really aren't doing well. Okay? They're, they are, they're struggling right now. Whoever this person is, is struggling. Behind the scenes, below the surface, they're struggling. But it still probably looks really good or it's starting to look bad or people are starting to see this person's uh, realness, okay? But, you know, they were able to make it look good for a long time, probably quite a long time, okay? This person is definitely struggling. They're 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 suffering. They're on the bottom. Okay, they're they're feeling the wounds. They're feeling the pain. They're feeling they're struggling. So we definitely have this person that is struggling financially because they were living some sort of illusion. They were they were living. Somebody was living behind their beyond their means to make it look good. They were making it look good. But this nine of wands is. Um, Taking ownership. This person is going to have to take ownership for their for their uh, poor choices. This is somebody that uh, is on the edge. They're on the brink. They're on the brink of probably losing it all. It feels like they've reached rock bottom. This person. It feels like somebody has reached rock bottom. Uh... We have a, this, this person has fought a good fight. They have fought a very, very, very good fight too. Um, but getting to the point of being overwhelmed. We have somebody here that is has, has tried too hard. They've tried too hard. You know? Interesting. Oh! The Emperor Reverse. So this is definitely overwhelmed. It could, we're definitely dealing with an individual that is very much under a lot of social pressure. Is very, very worried about what everybody else thinks. Okay? This person is very controlling. Uh, likes to be in control. Likes to be the boss. Probably has been a boss at some point in their life. You know, may have been a supervisor or been a business owner or been a boss or is used to being in control. This person um, is losing control. They're losing control. They're losing their stability. They're losing... Uh, they could be losing their business, put it that way. Whatever, this person is very uh, corrupt. And, and the King of Coins in reverse is corrupt as well. The Emperor reverse and the King of Coins, somebody's going to be taking ownership. They're going to be paid. Okay, they're, this is... Uh, uh, well, they're going to be learning a hard lesson, put it that way. They're, the universe, because it's a universe card, is going to be teaching them a lesson for being so uh, corrupt. Okay, this is a corrupt 
person that uh, only cares about themselves. Very, very materialistic and selfish. Uh, uh, very, very demanding, very controlling, very egotistical. Uh, extremely, now that we got both of these cards. This is somebody that isn't interested in helping anybody else, only looks out for themselves, not interested in taking any sort of responsibility, doesn't want to be held accountable for any of their actions, but they're going to be. Okay, they don't want to be. They've been living in some sort of fantasy land or illusion or and projecting that illusion out to the world very, very well. This person, whoever this person is, has been, you know, the world has seen this person as, you know, somebody that's successful. They've been able to project that illusion, because this is an illusion, out to the world. They have. But now they're 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 hitting rock bottom. I know that's what's going on. And the world is gonna see. There's going to be, this is public recognition. Okay, the world is going to see, because this is coming out, they're going to see who this person is. They're going to see who this person really is. It's going to be revealed. Whoever this person is, this person is, feels like they are entitled. You know, they're on, they're, they, they, they're owed something. They feel like they are. They feel like they're owed something. The world owes them. You know, this is somebody that is very self-righteous. Um, it could be dealing with a father or a boss or a husband or somebody that, you know, deserts you. This person, when things don't go their way, this per this is like a narcissist or a tyrant or something. They run. It's like, you. it's my way or the highway. This person, you can't reason with this person. Very unreasonable, very stubborn, very set in their ways, unrealistic, uh, um impulsive as well, lazy, um, definitely unreasonable. So we have a very unreasonable individual here who is, is so materialistic uh, that they don't care who they, who they hurt. This person has reached the point of collapse. Either their business is collapsing or their body is collapsing or something is collapsing. Next card is the Ten of Wands. They have reached the point of collapse. Okay. There could even be some criminal activity here with these two cards. This could be a criminal. Somebody that only cares about themselves. Five of Cups. Now this is uh, grieving, sadness. This is loss, mourning, deep sorrow. So there's deep sorrow here. There could even be some, some somebody has been hurt because of this Five of Cups. Somebody has been hurt by this person. There could be some regrets here as well. This person may, you know, it's just funny, but this uh, may have deserted somebody in their time of need because of money, because of materialism, because of selfishness. We, this is a masculine energy. So we have a masculine energy that has deserted somebody, has wounded another person. This person ha is distraught, you know, but is getting ready to let go. This person is letting go. They're letting go. They're sad. Yes, they're sad. They're mourning the loss. They've mourned the loss. It's, you know, but they're letting go. Even though it hurts. Somebody is letting go. This is this is definitely letting go. Letting go of this tyrant. Letting go of this person that deserted them. Because there's another opportunity for love here. This is sad. It is very sad that this person is so shallow and uh, narcissistic, okay? The emperor in reverse is narcissistic. It is. This is somebody that is mean, that is unreasonable, that only cares about themselves. Super shallow. Super, 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 super shallow. Has, has really hurt another person. And this person is distraught over it. Could be a father or a husband or whoever it is. 
This is somebody who likes to be in control and will only has to be in that power of authority. I mean that uh, position of authority. Star. Now this is the star card is a card of protection. It's a card of protection. It's a card of a new purpose. It's a blessing. It's help arriving. This is being guided. Somebody is being guided. They are being guided to step up to the plate. Somebody is being guided to step up to the plate. They're being guided. Now, this is... Uh, this person is unstable. Whoever this person is, they're unstable. They're losing their stability. They're losing their security. They hurt another person, right? This is this is painful. This is this is a painful separate. This is mourning. This person has been mourning the loss or is going to be mourning a loss of an individual that didn't treat them very well. This person it doesn't didn't treat this person very well at all. They didn't. They wounded them. They caused a lot of pain for this person. But this is the end. Okay, the world card is the end of this chapter. It's the end of this this phase. Okay, it's the end. It's the end of confusion. It's the end of the illusion. It's time to uh, get up. Okay, it's time to get up. It's time, you know, this is a blessing in disguise. It was a blessing in disguise of some sort of blessing. The star is a blessing. This is a renewal. This is unexpected help arriving after the tower falls. After losing, after losing somebody that didn't take care of you. That neglected you. Hermit. Now this is a card of taking a time out, going within. To think about uh, your next move. I feel like somebody is seeing the light. Because this is a card of enlightenment. It's, this is, uh, this is, this is enlightenment. Somebody is, is being enlightened. They may be hoping. This is hoping. Realizing, this is realizing thy true identity. Realizing that this was a blessing. Realizing something. Somebody is realizing. Because this is realizing the truth, seeing the light. We have a very wise, wise, wise individual here. Listening to themselves. Listening to themselves in, in, only. Now this, is, this individual has seen something or is seeing... Seeing something is coming out of hiding, and this is coming out of hiding too. Somebody is 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 going to come out of hiding. This is a wish being granted, hoping for renewal, hoping for forgiveness. This is a card of forgiveness. Somebody may be hoping for forgiveness. Ooh, Six of Swords reversed. Now that is reluctant to take a new approach. Staying in a troubled situation. Uh, there could be some, some mental confusion here. So we have somebody here that is stuck. They're stuck. They're stuck in a bad situation. They need to listen to themselves. They need to follow their gut. They need to go after their own wish fulfillment and not listen to anybody else. We definitely have somebody here that is needs to listen to themselves and nobody else. Anyway, somebody has been re reluctant to 
uh, bring peace to a situation. This is a card of peace, and this is a card of peace. This one is reversed. Somebody has been reluctant. They may have regrets. They they have been reluctant to communicate or reluctant to speak up because they're ashamed, perhaps. They're very troubled in their mind. They're confused. They've been living some sort of lie. The very first card is a big lie, you know. Um, but they're now they're learning some sort of lesson. They're probably learning it the hard way. Um... They're becoming enlightened. This is enlightenment. Very, very much stuck though. Refusing to move forward. Wishing and hoping. This person is wishing and hoping that they will be accepted. They're hoping that... Uh, What the hell are they hoping for? Because it's hoping for renewal. Two of coins reversed. This is imbalance. There's there's a big huge loss here. Somebody is bitten off more than they can chew and they're about to lose it all. Somebody is about to lose it all. There's a wicked imbalance here. And there's an imbalance in the mind too, because the six of swords is mind. It is. There's an imbalance in the in the mind. Okay, we have somebody here that is mentally imbalanced, and they need time to go within, or maybe they have been mentally imbalanced, and they've gone within to think about everything that has happened, and they're wishing and hoping that you know they can get to a better place. But they're not moving. They're not moving in that direction because they're so imbalanced. So there's definitely a mental imbalance here. Um, this person knows that they hurt another person. They do know it. And now they're experiencing financial loss because of their actions. Because they didn't act with integrity. This is lack of integrity. Somebody didn't, didn't act with integrity. But they're about to learn a lesson. And they're about to lose something. They're about to lose something that... Uh, is really going to hurt them. Put it that way. It is really going to hurt them. Whoever they hurt, whoever they hurt, is probably getting a blessing of some sort because this is a blessing and this is another opportunity. Now, this this is this is a wish being granted after being wounded by this individual. This individual wounded this person and they've been praying and hoping for this person that hurt them to see the light. This person didn't see the light. It's actually a blessing in disguise that that person didn't see the light because that person that didn't see the light was very egotistical and shallow and uh, narcissistic. Anyway, just saying. Um... Ten of Cups reversed. So this is this is the end of a relationship. It is. And it is the end. It's the end of this. Uh... Well, it's a relationship. It's a dying dream. It's it's leaving it's 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 leaving home. It's there's no relationship here. It's the end. Okay, it is the end. It's coming out of illusion. It's waking up. It's waking up and seeing because this is seeing who you were dealing with. Somebody is gonna see who they were dealing with. They are. And they're gonna probably have regrets. They have regrets for holding on. This is letting go. Letting go of this individual. Okay, somebody is letting go of it's a father or it's a husband or it's a narcissist or it could even be a wife whatever this is somebody that is narcissistic it's letting go a painfully letting go it is this is not, this is holding on and holding on and holding on and then and finally realizing finally realizing that there's nothing to hold on to here that this is too much whoever this person has somebody else you don't want to be doing that 
So this is the end of that phase, okay? This is a major completion, okay? The lesson has been learned. The lesson has been learned that this, you know, you don't deserve to be wounded and treated badly by an individual who doesn't love you because there's no love in these cards. Anyway, we have a we have a very controlling manipulative individual here that is corrupt and deserted somebody in their time of need. And it's been a long grieving process. But it's but this is over. This is over. It's over. It's over. This is time for closure. It's time to, you know, get up and focus on the future. So that's what's happening. Somebody is getting up and they're focusing on the future. There's another opportunity for love here. Somebody has held on as long as they can. There is another opportunity for love here. And this is taking that other opportunity and, and starting a new relationship. This is this is a a blessing. Okay, this is the this is like this is unexpected help. And the star is help after the tower falls. So this is unexpected help arriving that you didn't plan on. This is no plan, no plan to move on. You know, you were hold somebody was holding on to this jackass, you know, and it's just like uh, you know, seeing the light. It's becoming aware, you know, in this time of loneliness and solitude that, you know, it's time for this to end. Okay, this is the completion of that project. It's the completion of that phase. Lesson learned. Okay? Fantasy over. And I think and I think what happens is is this person right here uh <sighs> lies or does some sort of manipulation, you know, the magician reverse is lies, it's manipulation, it's uh, acts violently, uh, loses their power. They lose their, they lose their power over you. Or, you know, this, whoever this person is, is losing their resources as well. This, this narcissistic controlling individual is losing resources. They're losing their power. It's like who, whoever they, the, the, people are realizing that they're not qualified. Or you're realizing that they're not qualified for the job. So this is realizing. Somebody is realizing that they're dealing with an individual that isn't qualified. And it, it feels like it's being realized publicly. There's some sort of public recognition here as well. This is a trickster. This is a trickster. Somebody was dealing with a very tricky individual that was a uh, pathological liar that, you know, it's like the truth is seen now. And it may be seen by the world, okay? With the world. The world is starting to realize. The world is starting to realize who this person is. So anyway, um, I feel as though you can... Uh, I think we have a we have a we have a letting go, okay? I think that we have a letting go and realizing um that it's time that it's time to let go and focus on the future. So that's what I see. I feel like there's a there's a big shift. I feel like there's a shift in energy where where uh this this uh narcissistic individual <laughs> is losing uh an opportunity okay they're losing an opportunity they 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 wounded somebody they hurt somebody whatever and and now it's their loss now it's their loss because there's no chance in in going back because whoever this other person is uh is choosing the future okay is letting them go has realized the true identity of the narcissist or whatever the case is um yeah there's nothing left to prove i just want to be happy goodbye Good luck.